Welcome to a world of economics where trade barriers, tariffs, and quotas play a crucial role. These concepts, while they may sound complex, are actually fundamental tools of international trade. They act as gatekeepers, controlling the flow of goods and services across borders and shaping the economic landscape of nations. Trade barriers are like the walls of a castle, erected to protect domestic industries from foreign competition. Tariffs, on the other hand, are akin to tolls levied on these foreign goods, altering their prices and thus influencing consumer choices. Lastly, quotas are the strict doormen, limiting the number of certain goods that can be imported within a specific time frame. These measures, though seemingly distant, can impact our everyday lives in surprising ways. From the price of your morning coffee to the availability of your favorite foreign movie, these economic tools are silently at work. As we delve deeper, we'll discover how these economic tools can have a significant influence on your life. First on our list are trade barriers, but what exactly are they? Trade barriers are government-induced restrictions on international trade. They're like invisible walls that countries put up to protect their domestic industries from foreign competition. These barriers can take many forms including tariffs, quotas, and subsidies. Now, why do countries implement these barriers? The purpose is often to support local businesses and jobs by limiting the import of foreign goods. However, this protection comes with a price. Trade barriers can significantly impact the price and availability of goods. When a country imposes a barrier, imported goods become more expensive. This price increase can be passed on to consumers, making everyday items like food, clothing, and electronics costlier. Moreover, these barriers can also limit the variety of goods available in the market. If a country restricts the import of certain foreign products, consumers may have fewer options to choose from. So, trade barriers can directly affect what you buy and how much you pay for it. Next up, we have tariffs, another key player in the economic field. Tariffs, in essence, are taxes imposed on imported goods. Governments use them as a tool to protect domestic industries from foreign competition. For instance, if a country's textile industry is struggling against cheaper imports, the government might impose a tariff on foreign-made textiles to level the playing field. But tariffs aren't without their consequences. While they can safeguard domestic industries, they can also lead to higher prices for consumers. Going back to our textile example, if a tariff is imposed on imported textiles, the cost of those goods will rise. And guess who foots the bill? That's right, the consumers. They'll either have to pay more for the same product or switch to a domestically produced, possibly lower quality alternative. Moreover, tariffs can trigger retaliatory measures from other countries, leading to a tit-for-tat trade war. Tariffs, therefore, can shape the market, influencing your choices and expenses. Moving on, let's explore quotas, a tool often used to control the trade flow. Quotas are essentially a form of restriction that countries use to limit the quantity of a certain product that can be imported or exported. It's like a cap on the volume of goods, set with the aim of protecting domestic industries from foreign competition. Imagine a local clothing manufacturer. If a quota is set on imported textiles, this manufacturer might have more chances of selling their products, since imported alternatives could become scarce. However, quotas don't exist in a vacuum. They can impact the availability of foreign products, potentially limiting your options. Suppose you have a penchant for a particular foreign brand of clothing. The quota might make it harder to find your favorite brand, as fewer pieces are allowed into the country. So while quotas protect domestic industries, they also shape our consumer choices in subtle ways. Quotas can limit your options, sometimes making it harder to find certain foreign goods. Now, let's connect the dots and see how trade barriers, tariffs, and quotas can change your life. Imagine you're craving for a cup of Brazilian coffee, but it's more expensive than usual. This could be due to a tariff, a tax imposed on imported goods. Tariffs increase the price of imported goods, making them less competitive against domestic products. This could lead you to opt for a local brew, supporting local businesses and jobs in the process. Or consider when you're shopping for a new car, and you notice that certain foreign models are hard to come by, this could be the result of a quota, a limit on the quantity of a certain product that can be imported. Quotas can make certain goods more scarce and potentially more expensive. Now you might be wondering how can this information help you? Well, understanding these economic tools can empower you to make smarter decisions. For instance, you might decide to buy a car before a quota is implemented, thereby avoiding a potential price hike. Or, if you're a business owner, you might choose to source your raw materials locally to avoid tariffs and support your local economy. Trade barriers, while often viewed negatively, can also have positive impacts. For example, they can protect nascent industries from foreign competition, 
allowing them to grow and strengthen. This creates jobs and boosts the local economy. Also, revenue generated from tariffs can be used to fund public services like education and healthcare. However, it's also important to remember that these measures can have downsides. They can lead to trade wars, decrease global cooperation, and potentially hinder economic growth. As you navigate the economic landscape of your life, Understanding these tools can help you anticipate changes and make informed decisions. Whether you're a consumer or a business owner, knowledge of trade barriers, tariffs, and quotas can give you an edge. Remember, every decision you make in the marketplace is a vote for the kind of world you want to live in. So, keep learning, keep exploring, and see how economics shapes your world. Knowledge of trade barriers, tariffs, and quotas can empower you, helping you navigate the economic landscape of your life.